Hey folks, Vertigo Electric here, and tonight I'm going to play Cold Dreams. This has mixed reviews on Steam, and we're going to find out <clears throat> whether or not we think it's good. Um, that's something else we're going to say, but whatever. Let's just give it a start. Give it a, let's give it a start. Cold Dreams. Well, one thing I do want to say is uh, if, if um, the microphone my voice sounds stranger than usual or different quality um, I had some technical issues with the microphone recently and I think I fixed it but I'm not totally sure so we've got was to move shift to sprint left mouse button to interact fair enough and hold left mouse button to read the notes. Uh, English subtitles, please. Yeah, I see this dream. But I have a feeling that I'm not sleeping. I can even feel the cold. Yeah. Why do I... You guys can see that, right? Yeah, you can see that there's a mouse cursor. Why am I still seeing the mouse curse? It's 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 it kind of throws the movement off. I don't like it. Uh, I, you know there 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 are a lot of games that uh, a lot of indie first person games that well I shouldn't say a lot but I've played several that um, fail to hide the mouse cursor when you are playing a game a first person game mind you uh, and this one. It's doing that, but it's, but it's that's the in-game mouse cursor. That's not my desktop cursor. That's not mine. That's their custom cursor that they are just forcing me to look at. So I'm gonna try to try to ignore it. And uh, wow, what is it? Don't remember seeing this before. The the voice is very quiet. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it in the video. At least there's subtitles. That's uh, some really weird head bobbing for when I'm moving. Also, I know, okay, here's, here's another technical uh, observation. Uh, if, <clears throat> if I hold shift to sprint, so I'm, I'm holding, and I'm holding forward, or while well, I'm holding W to move forward, uh, if I let go of shift while I'm still moving, I continue to sprint. I have to actually stop moving, and I, I, th I thought I saw oh, what now? I'm just like stuck in stuck in the trees. Wait, here's a, is this the clearing? Is this where I'm supposed to be going? That mouse cursor, man, that's that's kind of annoying. Is this something I can take? Oh, it doesn't appear to be takeable. That's a really thick handle on that axe. Either that or I'm really, really small. Oh, right. I feel like I've missed a bunch of stuff. Also, turning around. Let's see. Okay, I'll start here. And wait, was, was, was I facing? I think I was facing here. I had to turn my mouse or drag my mouse almost all the way across my mouse pad, which is it's kind of a big mouse pad. Um, the point I'm trying to make is that the look, move, movement, or is this? That looks like where I came from. Gosh darn it. The look speed uh, is really slow. We're not off to a great start. Wait, but, but there's that axe. So... <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> um, so maybe that's not where we started. Or maybe it's one of those games where you 
sort of a loop and you keep going around, but I don't think that's what this is. What's with that? What's with the head bobbing? There's a lamp post. I don't know if there's a significance to that. Maybe if we were playing the beginner's guide, but we are not. And there is a a tree growing on top of a rock. That's kind of cool looking. Okay, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Um, I guess I'm just going to head into the forest. Oh, what do we have here? A bed? Just some random bed in the middle of the forest? Oh, I have feet! Well, that's, that's cool. So I'm not just a floating disembodied camera? I suppose? Yeah, I wish that the, the turning was a little bit um, more sensitive. I don't like having to, uh, like, if I, when I'm trying to play a game, I don't like having to lift up my mouse. Was that, there's got to be something else over here. Can I go up here? I can't. Expecting to hit some kind of invisible barrier or something. Or maybe it's just too steep. I guess that would be more. That's better. I, I I like it when games. You know, if there's a certain place you're not supposed to go, that you know they they put something in the game that at least makes some kind of sense to uh, in blocking you. You know, whether it be a, a wall or a, a steep hill like this or something. Not just an invisible barrier, which just, I don't know, it just seems cheap and lazy to me. Uh, I have a feeling this is going to take longer than I anticipated. Well, I didn't really anticipate how long it would take, so that doesn't really... But, I mean, I didn't think I would be, I'd get lost so soon. I do feel like that's where I started. It's got to be where I started. You know what, I think I just wasted like eight, like six minutes of everyone's time. Because that would make sense, that would explain why there's a bed there. And because you know I'm dreaming, so I'm I was I would have started at my bed and see this is this is where I got turned around. I think I walked this way, and I yep this does I, I didn't see the axe on my way over. That's that's what it was. was complaining about something. Well, I'm sorry about that. Wasted a bunch of time. And for the, those of you who played this, I'm sure you have rolled your eyes all the way into the back of your skull at my incompetence. Here, I'm pretty sure this is the same tree. Maybe not. I don't know. It's not a big deal. This sphere is leading me somewhere. This I guess sphere. I'll have to follow it. I guess I'll have to follow it. Oh my god. That laughter seems that of my daughter. But she is no longer alive. Laura, I miss you so much. 
seems that of my daughter. The voice is a little too quiet, I think. Anyway, I better follow that glowing floaty. The glowing floaty. Ali, oop. What the? Hmm. That's that's weird. I I, w I went to jump over that log, and uh, it did jump, but the. I don't know, it seems really delayed. Oh, there goes the floating glowy. Sorry, the glowing floaty. Whatever it is, I don't know. It's a... What? Wait. That was weird. I was walking straight, but something pushed me sideways off of the rock. Oh well. I shouldn't be too surprised. I don't mean to pick at every little tiny thing, but kind of do. Wait. So I have to. What the? That's weird. Like the, the door, I don't know, it's like there's certain places on the door you have to, is there somebody in the sleeping bag? It looks like there's, well, at least most of a person. I, th I have a feeling, as I usually do, uh, well, I don't know, it's like, Hello, do you see a toy horse on the floor? Take it. I think she'll need it. What? Who's there? Who's there? I was... Sorry, I was trying to uh, come up with something clever to say. These are the exact same toy horses I gave to Laura for her birthday. It's strange. Why is it strange? Is you know you're dreaming. There's nothing. Nothing should really. Well, I guess it could be strange, but shouldn't act surprised. <clears throat> Ye old water tower. Who's there? Do I keep going this way? I'm going to keep going this way. I don't know. I don't know what's coming. Ah. Uh. Sorry, my commentary is not very, very good tonight. Keep, uh, keep going blank. This is a dead end. <clears throat> like now, I just, <laughs> I don't mean to keep going quiet. But there's really nothing, there's not a lot to say about this game. You know. I've already nitpicked it a bunch of little things. Um, what else could I talk about? Let's see. So, I've got a couple of games that uh, I'm planning on recording soon. Well, I say a couple. I have several. There, there's, um, there's like a backlog of games that I would like to record. Um... And I just haven't gotten around to it. Picked up a new game. Uh, my most recent game is uh, Feist. I think it's Feist. I don't think it's Feast. That doesn't doesn't seem right. Uh, but it's I'm gonna say Feist. 
pick that game up. Uh, it's a, sort of a <clears throat> it's kind of a platformer in a uh, sort of silhouette stylized uh, aesthetic kind of like I, I know a lot of people would compare it to Limbo but it's more contrasty than Limbo and it's not um, like the visuals look more whatever anyway <laughs> and it has combat apparently but um, picked that up earlier I was on my wish list and, oh there's the glowing floaty um, and uh, I just randomly received a 75% off coupon for it in my inventory so I thought well <clears throat> this might be a good time to pick it up I remember that it was uh, it's already 50% off and uh, I was gonna see if I can combine those but it didn't it didn't work and not because not simply because I couldn't combine them but the 50% off sale was for the uh, the the game with soundtrack it's bundle. Very cold. Yes, it's very cold. Um, and it was uh, nineteen dollars. It was twenty bucks and fifty percent off at ten bucks. Um, but I couldn't. The coupon was not valid for that bundle. I had to get just the core game, which is uh, which was fifty. Fourteen dollars, I think fifteen dollars actually. Uh, but anyway, is that the that I just saw it? The heck is? Oh, I think that's supposed to be like clouds or something. That's weird though. Maybe that's where I'm where I'm ending. Where that maybe that's where I'm going. Um. Anyway, long story short, I was able to apply the 75% off to the $15 core game. Ended up grabbing it for under four bucks. So I thought, okay, whatever. Would like the soundtrack though. Um. That was. Interesting. And I guess the tracks just end here. So yeah, Feist is something that I, I kind of want to play. Um, got a few more uh, horror titles, horror titles that I want to record. Uh, the free one, Medusa's Labyrinth. That's that's free, so that's kind of cool. Uh, Wooden Floor 2, I picked up. I think I got it in a bundle. I'm going to play that one. Um, those are some weird crosses. I don't think this is a Christian church. Even though that says Holy Bible, I don't think this is a, this is a Christian church. Oh, look out the window. I did it for you. I tried. Will. I want to look out the window. I don't look out the window over here. Do I have to go closer? All right, seen enough. I don't. I don't know what's out there. Maybe I have to go out around. Another horse. Ch Ch Calm down. It's just a dream. It's not a dream. It's a game. Um, <clears throat> my friend and I played wooden floor first one on the stream. I think I have it uploaded to YouTube. Uh, it was kind of a... It was kind of fun. So, I figured Wooden Floor 2 would probably be fun as well. So, it's Gallows. thought it might be something like that. Oh, this is where I just was. I didn't even... I didn't even notice there was a door here. Why I wonder why I'm... Here? Why is this here? Dang it. Don't try to catch me. This doesn't make any sense. Help. What?
Why is this here? This guy has a weird voice. A weird, quiet voice. Ah. Uh. Another game that I want to play, definitely want to play, that I've been putting off is uh, Abduction. Pretty excited about that game. <clears throat> Even though I'm putting it off, doesn't mean I'm not excited about it. I really am. I'm a, a oh, hold on here, invisible barriers. Dang it. Do, you, we were, we were, I thought we were doing so well in that department. Anyway. Big fan of the Mist games from way back in the day. Um, I haven't played every single one, but uh, I really loved. Uh, what is that? What is that? I don't think I should approach it. I don't think I should approach it, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's a smoky floaty. Um, let's go over here first. So I played Mist one through four, and absolutely love them. They're, it's it's in my all-time all favorites, the, the series. I haven't played Beyond 4 because what am I... I don't know. They they used uh, FMV, full, full motion video for um, a lot of the well, for the you know, characters and stuff in the game. The people. And they kind of went away from that after Mist 4. Uh, they, and, and I, I don't know, I, that just kinda, it, for some reason, lost kinda, lost a little bit of the magic for me. Um, but, or maybe I should at least give them a try. <clears throat> anyway, I, uh, when I first heard of Abduction quite some time ago, being in development by the same team, uh, Cyan or Cyan, I, however you want to pronounce it, uh, as the um, who made Mist, I got really excited, and uh, now here we are, and I actually own the game. <clears throat> Thanks mostly to. Um, uh, J. Frick. That's well. <laughs> I don't think that's his real name, but that's how I know him. He gifted it to me on the day of release or day after, and uh, I don't think I can go in there. Oh, why is it so? There's torches and stuff down there. There's clearly I'm. I'm supposed to get down there somehow. But uh, yeah, he gifted it to me. Total surprise. I I didn't. You know, I mean, I wasn't asking for anything, and um, uh, I. It was on the top of my wish list. It was the game I wanted most, and I asked him about that later. He didn't even know that. <laughs> he just got it for me, and uh, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, he also got me the witness a long time ago. Um, you know, when that was still kind of new. There's the glowy floaty. And obviously, you know, totally appreciated that. But I didn't care for the witness. I really didn't. At first, I, th I, you know, it looked like it was going to be a mist-ish game, but it really isn't. It's. I played it for a little while. I thought, you know what, it was a gift. I need to need to play it, and so I did. And I just did not. I didn't really like it. You know. Oh, here we got another note. Did you find all the toy horses? If not, go and search them. You. I think those words in the bottom corner are supposed to be um, making something. The last ones, last last two are will help, and then this one is you. So maybe the first one had I, or, or I don't know. Anyway, the witness, the witness. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and try to say it's a bad game. 
Um, by all accounts, it's it's not. Uh, in fact, I I would <clears throat> I'm willing to say it's a very good game, but it just didn't keep my interest. Um, it, I, I was kind of disappointed in the way it played because it's it's basically uh, the same puzzle over and over with just various um, elements um, that change or, or get added to it as you progress through the game. Uh, it, it's basically just drawing lines on a grid. Basically, that's, you know, <clears throat> if I had to describe it as best as I could in a few words, it's drawing lines on a grid. Uh, to achieve some solution and the, you know depending on the puzzle it's, so the solution could be you know a number of different things but it just it wasn't enough to really engage me to keep going it wasn't enough to make me feel like ooh you know I, I want to solve this one to get to the next challenge because I know the next challenge is going to be another draw lines on on the grid, draw lines on grids, and you know, like I said, even though elements of it change and there are new symbols added to the puzzles and different different things you have to do to solve them, that wasn't enough for me. So. I can't tell if I'm progressing or backtracking. I, I feel I, I'm pretty sure I'm progressing. See, games like Mist, I really get into because it feels. I guess one way to put it would be the the puzzles. And, and the riddles and the the things you have to solve feel like they're just a part of the world that you explore. Um, various elements and, and things and <clears throat> certain machines and things. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know if I'm describing that well. Oh, well, I've, I've gone in a circle. Ah, crap. All right, I gotta search for another toy horse. I already look over here. I think I feel like I did. Um, whereas the puzzles, like in the witness, didn't really feel. I guess one word. If I describe it with one one word, like kind of the way the puzzles uh, felt to me, it was arbitrary. It just felt very arbitrary. It's like they didn't. It, it wasn't. I don't. I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not. I'm not saying it's a bad game. Just not my thing. And you know what? I've been kind of. I'm a. I'm a huge fan. Oh, there's a stupid tunnel. I'm a huge fan of the Portal series. And, um. But, 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 but. Uh, I've I've got kind of burnt out on the on playing Portal. Um, you know, there's obviously there's a, an endless supply of <clears throat> user-made content, community puzzles, and stuff like that. Um, and in fact, my buddy LB uh, plays them all the time, and they just I got kind of burnt out on them. And I think I think it was for the, the same reason where it just felt like even though the puzzles are all different, the solutions are all a little different because obviously every map is a little different. It just started to get I don't know. It started started to feel kind of stale. Um, solving puzzles with the the same set of core elements over and over and over. I don't know. Just, I just kind of lost interest 
in playing. <clears throat> I keep trying to figure out why, and, and I don't. Maybe maybe it is because of the you know I'm burnt out on the core elements of the puzzle to, uh, uh, things, <laughs> for lack of better words. Or maybe it's something else. I don't know. But again, I still love the game. I you know what? I don't. This I, I don't know if I want to keep running around. I've been playing this for a half an hour. I collected collected a couple of toy rocking horses, and uh, have I been here? I don't think I've been here. Or maybe I have. Can I? What the heck? <laughs> I think that was a, uh, a development uh, thing. Let's see if we can get. I wanted to see it again. Oh, oh! I think I saw. Oh. 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 I thought I was stuck. That was kind of funny. <clears throat> well, I was about to, I was just about to quit, but I think I'll go ahead and see what's in here. I've been in here, haven't I? Oh, this is where it tells me to search for him. Did I go up here? Surely I went up here. Maybe not. Oh, no, no, I definitely haven't been up here. What in the world? It's a pentagram. Looks creepy. Yeah, it is a pentagram. And it is creepy. But I stepped in it anyway. Am I walking up the wall? Uh, I guess I have to find more. I don't really care enough, guys. I'm, <laughs> this is 32 minutes in, and I'm not engaged. I don't want to go searching around for the last bit. So, I'm going to put an end to this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the like button. It does help me out. And, um... I'll see you guys next time.